number nine is asking us how do you write negative 13 over 16 as a decimal so write negative 13 over 16 as decimal so what we have here is we have a fraction we have a fraction and we want to change this to a decimal so what we can do is they actually did the solution here is actually really really good and they did long division so let me just break this up break this down into our parts here so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to do division and we're gonna have to do this long division of we're basically putting the denominator denominator is going to go here which is 16 and our numerator is going to go into our dividend which is this guy here so I'm gonna cancel this arrow and just simply put negative 13. And then I'm gonna to have to add some zeros here. And the reason why we add zeros here is to, for us to create some decimal digits here. So I've, I'm gonna add four here, like they did in the solution here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply just do long division, right? So this negative here, I'm gonna bring up this negative here and I'm gonna have a zero in this column first, right? Because again, I can't, um, there's no way I can do, uh, I, I can't put 16 into 13 here. So this here is going to be a decimal here as well. And I'm going to work with this first digit. Uh, 30. Yeah, I'm going to work with this first, uh, first digit here. Oh, sorry, this would be, uh, there, there would be a zero. Yes, there would be a zero on this side here. So this is zero point and then you would get something here. So 16 times what number is closest to 130? Well, let's say 16 times 10 here equals uh, 160, and 16 times nine would be, let me do this on my count, 16 times, nine, 16 times nine is 144, so I would assume 16 times eight would fit the bill here. So this is 16 times eight here, eight times six here is 48, so I have an eight here, I carry the four, eight times one here is eight, plus four here is 120, right? So I have 128 here, um, I can subtract uh, both of these numbers here. And then I'm going to get a 2, right? 130. I can think of this as a, a, a positive 130 now. Um, I know I, uh, this negative here, because I, I, I know that this is negative 13, I can simply just ignore uh, this negative here. And I can say that this here is simply just a positive 2, right? 130 minus 28 here is 2. I bring down the 0 here. What goes into 20 here? Again, only one goes into 20 here. So I, one times 16 here is obviously 16. And then I will have a four here. 16, 20 minus 16 here is a four. I can bring down the zero again. What goes into 40? Well, 16 times one is 16. 16 times two would be 32, right? That's gonna be our closest. So 16 times two is 32. It's 12, or two times six here is 12. Uh, two times one here is two, plus one is three. So 40 minus 32 here is eight. And then finally bring down the zero here. What number goes into uh, 80 here? 16 times five would give me 80 here. So five here, five times six here is 30. So I added zero here. Five times one here is five plus three because I carried the three over would be eight here. So this here is our decimal here, right? And the, I had no remainder, which is great. So our decimal here would be negative our decimal here is negative 0.8125 and this here is our solution for negative 13 over 16 as our decimal so this here is the correct answer and they did the exact same thing as uh, as i did where i did long division here so the solution here is correct good analysis